One of the most talked about features of electric cars is EPA range versus real world range. We all knew that Tesla Model Y long range has an EPA range of 316 miles. And you probably heard that EPA range estimates vary wildly and aren't always achievable in every driving condition. So what kind of distance can you really be achieved in the real world? Tesla's most popular vehicle, Model 3 long range, has an EPA rated 322 miles. Compared to Model 3, the Model Y is roughly 2 inches longer, 3 inches wider, and about 7 inches taller. The differences allow for an additional interior space in the Model Y and you get about 5 inches more second row leg room than in 3. With all that additional weight, Tesla had done a great job for optimizing Model Y. I received my Model Y performance with Performance Upgrade Package back on March 31st. With the included 21-inch Uber Turbine wheels and lower, stiffer suspension, it has an estimated range of 280 miles. Tesla Model Y Long Range has 360 miles and Model Y Performance without Performance Upgrade Package has 350 miles. Therefore, by selecting the free Performance Upgrade Package, I'm losing 35 miles of range. For this test, I convinced my wife to go on a day trip with me. And of course, we are bringing our dog along for the ride as well. This trip started from Culver City to Old Town San Diego for some tasty tacos. Then we will go to a supercharger in San Diego, charge the car up, and go to Monterey Park to buy some groceries before heading home. This little fun day trip would be a good test to see how Tesla Model Y battery performs. When driving a car, factors such as cargo load, terrain, climate, and how much of a left foot will affect how many miles you will get out of your car. Since 95% of the trip is on the freeway, I turn on the autopilot with a realistic speed of 70 miles per hour. I also turn on auto lane change so the car will move to an adjacent lane to keep the speed consistent. The weather ranges from 68 to 77 degrees, and I set the climate to auto at 71 degrees. Usually, I wouldn't be a fan of this trip because southbound 5 freeway gets very congested on Saturday. With COVID-19, we were able to complete the first leg from LA to Old Town San Diego within 2 hours. And one of the reasons I love Tesla is how autopilot allows me to have a more enjoyable long drive. It will maintain a safe distance from the car ahead of us, keeping the car in the lane, change lanes when the car in front of us is too slow, and will slow down when someone cuts my car off. Therefore, the drive is less stressful and I also get to enjoy the view more. We started the trip at 11.26 a.m. with 224 miles remaining in the battery. We arrived at 1.29 p.m. and the system showed that we drove 127.3 miles and used 37 kilowatt hours. It averaged 288 work hour per mile. A quick math shows that in a perfect world, we should have 96.7 miles left in the battery. So we lost about 15.1% of energy. I don't have any expectation, but considering the parameters for this real world test, I'm pretty satisfied so far. We enjoyed an authentic Mexican lunch, walked around the old town and prepared to find a local supercharger. Well, while we were on the way to a supercharger in downtown San Diego, we ran into a peaceful protest. It took us a good 20-25 minutes to navigate around the crowd and then we decided to use another supercharger instead. At 3.28 p.m., we arrived at the supercharger by Qualcomm building. So far, we drove 152.1 miles, used 45 kilowatt hours, averaged 293 work hour per mile, and had 52 miles left in the battery. By 4.15 p.m., the car had 248 miles and we were ready to go to the next destination. In 47 minutes, the supercharger added 196 miles and cost $17.67. And with all that entertainment in the car, it wasn't a long wait at all. For the next destination, we were going up north to Monterey Park. By the time we got there, it was 5.52 p.m. From San Diego to Monterey Park, we drove another 109.1 miles and averaged 300 work hour per mile. We went to the grocery store while leaving our dog in the car with the dog mow out. Don't worry, we already got the latest update and it supposedly fixed the dog mow and I always check on the phone to make sure the dog mow is still working correctly. Then, for the last leg, 
we were finally going home. By the time we got home, it was 7.02 p.m. Yep, this day trip lasted almost seven and a half hours. And I was surprised that my wife didn't complain at all. So that's a big thumbs up for me that she's approved the comfort of the car. How did the car battery perform? In total, we drove 282.4 miles, used 83 kilowatt hours of energy, and the car averaged 294 work hours per mile for this trip. I also gathered various stats from the system. The system showed that we used 320 miles of energy instead of 282.4 miles. Therefore, the car lost an additional of 13.3% energy. Again, about 95% of the trip was on autopilot. Climate set to auto at 71 degrees, and we also used dog mode for about 20 minutes or so. Overall, my result isn't too far off on EPA estimated range. My recommendation is that if you are planning for a long trip, make sure you account for about 20% battery loss due to various factors like climate, speed, cargo load, or elevation. Tesla Model Y is both functional and fun car to drive. If you need more miles, get the long range Model Y, which is rated for 316 miles. Given the weight differences between Model Y and Model 3 and aero penalty, Model Y is another tech marvel from Tesla. With Tesla's battery day event just around the corner, you'll be interested to see what Elon Musk will show about the latest development in battery technology. I'll have to say, I want to see what Tesla's strategy is for the future and what battery technology will be adding to future cars. Enough of what I think of Tesla battery and the range. Tell me what you think of it. Do you think Model Y range is enough for you? Will you need more range across Tesla models? Do you think the EPA rated range is accurate? And do you think the superchargers are sufficient enough to eliminate your range anxiety? Also, do you mind waiting 40 to 50 minutes to charge your car at superchargers? Go down below and leave your comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on the like and subscribe button. I'm making videos for fun and during my free time. Your support helps out this channel more than you think. That is for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you here again soon. Peace.